What you doing, Vinny? Just watching Altered Carbon from Netflix on my mobile, there's more tits than I've handled my whole life, and I've handled quite a few. Dude, your screen is too small. You need to watch it on this 49-inch Samsung QLED. Oh yeah? Why would I do that when I can watch it on my 65-inch LG OLED? Okay, now you're forcing my hand. Let me show you what big screen home entertainment is all about. Look Vinny, a clean piece of cloth. Just in case you wet yourself after seeing the awesome picture. So, what do you think? Hello everyone, Vincent Teo from HDTV Test here. I'm a professional calibrator and display reviewer. Today, we're taking a look at the Xiaomi Mi Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector, which is capable of creating a 150-inch picture from only 20 inches away from the wall. First things first, this projector is only available to buy from China. It hasn't actually been released in the UK, Europe or the USA. I got it from this Chinese online retailer called Gearbest, who was kind enough to loan me a unit to review. Now, the reason why this Xiaomi Mi projector has generated quite an interest among the video enthusiast community is because of the low price given its specifications. It uses a laser light source which is very stable, so the colors won't degrade as fast as lamp-based projectors. And of course, laser provides a longer lifespan. Xiaomi quotes 25,000 hours of operation, which is more than 13 years if you watch 5 hours a day. I'm sure many of you guys would have upgraded your displays by then, probably a few times if you are someone like me. Another appeal of this Xiaomi projector is that you only need a small amount of space to cast an image on the screen, because it is an ultra short throw or UST projector. With traditional projectors, you need a certain amount of throw distance, so you'll have to place the projector behind you or ceiling mounted, usually quite far away from the screen. But with an ultra short throw projector, you can place the machine very close to the screen, so it doesn't take up much space at all, and you don't need to worry about objects coming between the projector and the screen, causing a shadow, so you don't really need to duck out of the way when you get up from your sofa to get a beer from the fridge. The further you place the projector from the screen, or a white wall in my case, because I wanted to test the projected image at various sizes, the larger the image, but it will also get dimmer, and you will start seeing individual pixels or screen door effect. I certainly wouldn't recommend going larger than 150 inches, which can be achieved by placing the Xiaomi projector 50 centimeters from the wall. The projector itself is fairly small and sports a white finish that thankfully doesn't really attract fingerprints. The build quality is very solid with a hefty weight and no plasticky feel at all. There's a front firing speakers built in and while it cannot compete with external sound bars or home theater systems, the sound output is actually very decent with good clarity and volume, probably the nicest I've heard from a projector. You can hear some background fan noise in a quiet room, but watching movies with surround sound will usually mask it. In terms of the connections on the Xiaomi Mi laser projector, there are three HDMI inputs and two USB ports among others. My review unit came with a power cable for use in China, so I just used my own travel adapter plug. But you can also use your own UK power cable as long as it has a clover leaf or Mickey Mouse connector end. The menu is entirely in Chinese, which is okay by me because I learned Mandarin at school. But if you don't understand the language at all, I'm going to go through and translate each setting in the picture menu one by one. Let's jump in. Press the menu button on your remote control and you will see three options here. The first one is picture, second one is sound, 
and the third one is projector setup and let's go into the picture sub menu the first item here is picture preset second one aspect ratio third one is brightness preset the fourth one is 3D and the last one is video dynamic range so let's go through the picture settings so the default out of the box picture preset is the standard mode second one is cinema third is vivid fourth is sports fifth is graphics sixth is game mode and then you also get a user mode interestingly whatever setting you change let's say in the standard mode what it will do is that it will just populate the user mode let's say if we go into cinema mode and then we populate it and then what you'll end up with is a user mode that has all these settings pre-populated so in effect you only get one independently savable picture preset which is the user mode and I'm going to go through the individual settings here the first one is brightness this affects the black level the second one is contrast this affects the white level color saturation sharpness tint and then in terms of color temperature you get the default setting of standard or cold which is cooler or warm which is warmer or yellower and then you also get a customizable color temperature but there's only a single white balance control of red green and blue on most modern consumer televisions and projectors you get at least a two point white balance control but on the Xiaomi laser projector you only get one single white balance control but at least it's there and you can use it to try and get the projector as close to the D65 white point which is the industry standard that is used within the film and broadcast industry and the setting here basically just resets the values to factory default and then you get this expert settings under which there are two further options the first one is dynamic contrast and the second one is dynamic color both are set to on by default and let me go through other picture settings so the second one is aspect ratio the first one I think it is just scan second one is fit to screen third one is zoom and then this is zoom even more and then the third option here is the brightness preset and you get three presets standard cinema and also high brightness interestingly the cinema preset is actually brighter than the standard preset and then the brightest one is the bright room preset so i'll just restore it to the default brightness preset of standard and then what we'll do is we'll go through 3d so these are the various 3d modes that are available on the xiaomi laser projector first one is shut off 3d and this is left right this is top down 3d and this is frame pack 3d so I'll just uh, shoot you off because clearly I'm not feeding it a 3D source. And the last setting here is dynamic range to do with either video level or PC level. And it's set to automatic by default, which is usually the correct setting. You can set it to full, which will force it into a PC 0 to 255 mode whereas this is limited which will be more accurate for video based content but if you set it to auto it should be correct so that concludes all oh, right i forgot to mention this setup here you have two settings the cec remote control and then the second one is hdmi 2.0 which determines whether you want the hdmi port to be set to 2.0 or 1.4 depending on the compatibility of your source equipment so that concludes the walkthrough of the picture related settings on the xiaomi laser projector 
Essentially, what I was doing is providing a translation service for free, but you can also get such a service from Google. So if you download the Google Translate app onto your smartphone, you can hover your smartphone across all of these Chinese characters that you don't understand, and hopefully it will return an accurate translation for you to figure out the exact picture settings. Okay, now that you've learned all about the picture settings in the user menu, let's talk about the picture quality of this Xiaomi Ultrashortural Laser Projector. We measured light output to be around 1600 lumens, which is plenty bright in a dark room. But if you are planning to use the projector during daytime or with the lights on, it's probably best to get an ALR or ambient light rejecting screen, which would of course put your total cost of ownership up unfortunately. In a pitch black room, once calibrated, black level was on par with an Epson TW9300, which means that blacks are very decent. Out of the box, even in the most accurate picture mode, there's a very noticeable blue push in the grayscale, but after calibrating with the RGB color temperature controls, we actually achieved a grayscale that tracked D65 white point and 2.2 gamma very closely. Of course, in a bad cave, we would prefer to calibrate to BT186 or 2.4 gamma, but there's no gamma control on this Xiaomi projector, so it's fixed to 2.2. Perhaps the Chinese brand is prepping it for use in slightly brighter environments. By the way, as part of our agreement with Gearbest, the retailer who has been generous enough to send us this review unit, we will provide our calibrated settings to anyone who purchased this projector from the link in the YouTube description below. Just send us a private message with your email and your order number or a screenshot and we'll email you our calibrated settings to extract the most natural colors from this Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. Right, back to the review itself. The onboard video processing is generally very good, with sharp and detailed upscaling from this SMPT RP133 test pattern in standard definition. For video-based content, Jaggies are suppressed effectively. When dealing with film-based interlaced material, the Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector passed 3-2 cadence in SD and HD, but not 2-2 which is entirely understandable given that it's not designed for PAL region use. This shouldn't be an issue because most, if not all owners, will be sending progressive video signal to the projector anyway. There's no frame interpolation on board, so motion resolution came in at the sample and hold baseline of 300 lines according to this horizontally scrolling test pattern. There's mild telecynic judder in 24 frames per second movies, visible in slow panning shots, and also some stutter with 50Hz content, for example SkyQ in the UK, suggesting that the projector is 60Hz centric. The smoothest motion will be seen in 60Hz countries such as the USA and Canada. Interestingly, the 24Hz telecynic jada is not present in 3D. Yes, this projector does 3D and it's not bad, resolving Full HD 3D resolution and looking reasonably bright. No glasses are supplied, so you'll have to buy your own pair if 3D is your thing. Although the underlying DLP chip of this Xiaomi UST laser projector is only 1080p, it can accept 4K HDR video signal from an external HDMI source, for example, 4K Blu-ray disc from the OPPO 203 or Panasonic UB900. That said, the tone mapping isn't very good, it just clips above 500 nits, so bright detail will be blown out, especially in movies that contain specular highlights up to 4000 nits. Another problem is that there's no separate dedicated HDR picture mode, so any changes you make, let's say to partially restore the specular highlight detail, will be saved in the user mode, which would of course mess up the SDR picture settings. In our opinion, HDR presentation on any projector will always be more subtle than high-end TVs anyway, so it's not really a big loss. At this stage, we just treat HDR as a curiosity on projectors. Input lag is high on this projector. The lowest lag time we measured was in graphics mode, coming in at 104 milliseconds. So gaming will be sluggish for those of you who are sensitive to lag. 
At the end of the day, what do I think of this Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector then? Well, if you are a video file who watch in a bad cave, then you should give it a miss. Gamma is fixed to 2.2, there's no 4.4 or 5.5 pulldown or frame interpolation, so slow panning shots in 24p films will exhibit some telecynic jitter, and bright HDR details are clipped by the suboptimal tone mapping. Hardcore gamers will also be put off by the high input lag. Even though the light source is laser, the projector uses DLP color wheels, so you may see a rainbow effect if you are sensitive to it. I'm not, so I didn't see any. Also, because of the angle at which light is projected, it will reveal any crack, blemish or uneven surface on your wall, so you may need to buy a projector screen to achieve a smooth image. But having said all this, what the Xiaomi projector offers is exceptional value for money, for around $2,000 or less if you use the coupon code I've listed in the description below, you get a laser light engine which is more stable and brighter than conventional lamp based projectors, and the startup and shutdown time is very quick. It's ultra short throw, so it's easy to integrate into a living room, it's got built in speakers which pump out decent sound, and above all, you get an immersive picture size that would dwarf even Sony's 100 inch ZD9 or Z9D. Every time I switch this projector on, I've been impressed by the slickness of Xiaomi's Android implementation and the bright, punchy picture, and I'm not even using it with a proper screen yet. If you feel like giving this Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw projector a go, I would appreciate it if you can buy it from our sponsor Gearbest using the link in the YouTube description below. There's a discount code that will give you the lowest price too. And as mentioned earlier, if you buy from our Gearbest link, we'll send you our calibrated settings for the projector, so you can enjoy better picture quality from this machine. The calibrated settings won't be as good as getting your projector calibrated in person, primarily because of screen variability, but at least it'll be better than the factory settings. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.